Hello Capricorn, I'm Ulrika, I'm a little more card reader and today we will do, uh, we will use a financial deck for your card reading. These are financial card readings. They are uh, advisors, uh, how to budget, uh, how to make certain adjustments if you have certain behaviors uh, in uh, money spending. These cards give you good advice, how to spend money, uh, how not to spend certain monies. Uh, they want you to improve your financial situation uh, in general. It's like you get a free financial financial lessons here with the card readings. Anyway, uh, Capricorn, we will uh, soon uh, see where this leads for you for the coming month. So I just uh, start with the reading for your sign, for the sign of Capricorn for the month of April. So uh, Capricorn, here I go. Hello Capricorn and welcome uh, for your uh, financial philosophical card reading for the month of April. As your first card here, we see the card of accomplishments. We all know that uh, Capricorn is a very hardworking sign. They are very determined, very hardworking. They are always busy improving themselves uh, in their life and especially for their career here. And here with this card, we see that uh, certain efforts in your life, uh, you they try to start bearing fruits here. Um, certain daily actions, there is improvement in your life and you see here the the changes and the results of all your hard work um, and here this card tells you even though you might be a little bit too strict for yourself you should also uh, learn to appreciate this card tells us these modest these small victories that you have even though you want maybe uh, the world maybe these accomplishments come on the long run maybe you take need to take it slow um uh, and slowly here you can uh, proceed yourself in the position that you want to uh, that you want to come in here. Um, anyway, this card tells you um, even though you progress, uh, did you make a long term plan? Because this is also about long term planning. In general, uh, Capricorn likes to make long term long term planning, um, and this card tells you to do so if you did not. Uh, can you make certain changes in your life? Can you make certain improvements in your life for uh, advancing your career? Uh, maybe with this card uh, you improve, but maybe some changes are necessary. And here we are asked to see what is still working in our life and what you exactly need to modify. Sometimes Capricorn is a little bit hard-headed to uh, modifications, but here this tells you maybe you need to make certain uh, modifications if you had a certain plan, and this plan need to be adjustment. Don't, of course, be uh, discouraged in the path that you are taking or in the adjustments that you need to do. What you should do is write your uh, down your accomplishments regardless of the magnitude or the impact of it. There are no small or big successes. Be happy with where you are. It's the, it's the it's the amalgamation here of everything here that will bring you exactly where you where you are. So write everything down and see where you come from. And I'm sure you will see there's already a big change uh, compared to um, a few years or a few months ago. What is important here with this card is the difference that it makes in your eyes and in your life. So appreciate the progress that you have made and keep persevering because you're on the right track. This is what uh, what this uh, what this card tells us. Don't be too strict here. You will get there. Keep persevering with it. The next card that we are seeing here is the card of, of payments of salaries. This is a card that. Uh, Capricorn likes. It's the card that we make improvement in our life. Also the same here. There's a lot of improvements here for Capricorn here. And probably you are uh, you are getting a promo and you're impatiently waiting also on the increase of your salary because this is the increase of salary. And you probably wonder uh, how you um, can adjust your current situation and the possibilities or the progressions in the company and also what this increase of salary um, would bring you. But this card tells you that this increase of salary is not necessarily the greatest good for you. If you think it's the absolute, this card tells you don't be so sure of that. This card tells you regardless of what we earn or what you earn, your monthly, your annual sal uh, salary, what really improves your financial condition is the ability to adjust your expenses according to your income. So an increase of salary, it will have no positive effect if you proportionally increase the expenses, what is... Uh, unfortunately for most people often the case. 
on the other hand, if you uh, have full authority and control over your expenses uh, and you learn your lesson, then of course you already have learned to limit yourself and you are about to improve. So this card tells you if you didn't, uh, if you did uh, not do adjust yet, invest your efforts here in better management of daily expenses in relationship to your earnings. And then you can focus more on an increase of salary. It doesn't mean that you cannot be ambitious. This card is not about that. This card is about adjusting your salaries to what you earn. We are in uh, difficult financial situations. Uh, in some uh, places there is inflation. So sometimes we need to adjust here uh, what we earn uh, with this card. So by doing so, uh, if you adjust your situation, uh, you will improve your overall situation. The last card is also about budgeting. It's all about uh, balancing here for, uh, for uh, Capricorn this month. Um, here we see that um, financial management, it uh, requires a form of leadership here. Uh, for some people in this group, it, uh, it will come naturally. Uh, normally, uh, in general, uh, Capricorn, they can handle money quite well. They are quite strict for themselves here. And mostly they have a plan. So here, uh, for most people, this will work out, but also there is a group probably here that uh, that think, oh my God, budget, what is this? How I need to do this? So it, it falls actually in two categories here. And it's up to you here to determine what kind of type that you are. Um, if you have the habit of budgeting here uh, and things are not as, as they should go, you should ask yourself this card tells, tell, asks you what has gone wrong in the past. Maybe there are certain weaknesses here in your budgeting. Maybe there are certain weaknesses that you have. Or it could be that uh, we are confronted with more um, expenses that we have foreseen. If this is not the case and you have expenses to come uh, and everything is in balance here, we should also calculate because this is the card also of unforeseen expenses. So if you make certain, made certain cal calculations for adjustments, for instance, for your house, for something that you are about to do for some project here, it means this card that probably you have miscalculated and there will be some additional um, unforeseen expenses. Mostly this card is about 10% off. This is what we are seeing here with this card. So sometimes this is a flaw, even for people who manage, um, uh, can manage very well that they don't incalculate the, this 10%. Of course, if you're a very good accountant, you have already incalculated, but of course this card is here for a reason. Anyway, be careful with this card for certain shortages here. There could be shortages in your environment or general shortages here. Maybe there is a supply shortage. This is possible also with this card. Anyway, um, here we see um, that uh, if, we, if we didn't budget very well, we should adjust to the current times and the current situation. This is what this card tells us here. Um, you need to find alternatives. If things are not going as you want, you need to find an alternative. Um, sometimes if we always pay uh, with credit cards and we notice that we are spending more easy with credit cards, you should try also paying cash. With cash, we have a better overview. The money is on our wallet. We give it to the cashier and when it's out of the wallet, there is no more. So it gives you a better overview sometimes if you pay cash. It's an old time, uh, an old fashioned method, but it's very efficient uh, for avoiding certain, ex making certain expenses. Anyway, you should determine here also which uh, paying method is the best for you um, and it's about finding financial financial balance here for yourself and you can uh, have more accomplishments in the future so capricorn this is all for this month i hope you get a little bit wiser out of this uh, short philosophical financial card reading if you are interested in learner monk card readings they give you an overview over the month sometimes i do a specific topic sometimes i just follow the cards uh, if i just follow the cards soon we get in the topics where we need to be uh, these are the general learner monk card readings and of course we have the philosophical spiritual card readings they are more like guides spiritual guides here uh, that uh, it's a total different concept but uh, they are very good advisors i had very good results with these cards anyway uh, capricorn you can check it out you can put the three readings together as a puzzle and then you have a very nice overview for the month card. anyway capricorn thank you for your time thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing see you next time bye bye for now